Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss errors. What is absolute error? What is relative error? Percentage error? And how we can find error when a number rounded to n decimal places. Okay, let us start. What is error? Errors. Errors means if the true value, true value, suppose x, if the true value x of a quantity quantity is approximated approximated by value value x1 then the difference difference that is true value and approximate value is called is called error okay. here we denote the error as a it is denoted by denoted by delta x or simply capital e e for error that is the formula error is equal to difference between true value and approximated value that is true value minus approximate value value okay that is del x is equal to x minus x1 otherwise we can write e means error is equal to x minus x1 that is error is difference between true value and approximated value now the first absolute error absolute error is denoted as a mod e okay otherwise mod of del x that is x minus x1 second is relative error relative error relative error is denoted by capital E suffix R is a ratio of error with its true value that is del x upon x. Del x is the difference between true value and its approximated value divided by the true value. Okay. Now, when we multiply by 100 to the relative error, it becomes percentage error. That is percentage error. It is denoted by E suffix P. E suffix P means percentage error. And we just multiplied by 100 into 100. Otherwise, x minus x1 divided by x into 100. Okay. Now, next, uh, when the number is rounded to n decimal place, then what is the formula? Okay, the four formula is if a number, if the number x is rounded, rounded to n decimal place, n decimal place, okay, then the error is obtained by del x is equal to 1 by 2 
1 by 2 into 10 raised to minus n. Okay. So these are the four formulas. Absolute error, relative error, percentage, and the error when we round the number up to n decimal places. Okay. Let us take the example on the error. Example. An approximate value of exponential function and approximate value of exponential function, say e, is given by given by say approximated value we denote as a x1. Okay, is equal to 2.7182673 and its true value true value x is equal to 2.7182673 now we find error first, second, relative error, third, percentage error, okay, and the fourth one is absolute error, absolute error, okay, so let the true value is denoted by the x and which is given as a 2.718281828 and approximated value is denoted by x1 which is given by 2.718267 okay just wait up four six the right here zero Zero. Now the error. The first question is find the error. Error means difference between true value and approximate value. Okay. The first question is error. Error we denote simply E. Error. E is equal to the difference between true value and approximate value is equal to 2.7182818182 minus 2.7182 is equal to 0. 0.0 1, 4, 5, 2. Okay. It can be also written as 1.C. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. It can be written as now we shift this decimal point up to fifth place. 1.452. Okay. 10 raised to minus 5. Now the next question is relative error. Relative error is denoted by E suffix R and which is what? The ratio of error with its true value. Okay. That is the error is 0 0.0000. .000 one four five two divided by the true value that is true value is two point seven one eight two eight one eight two now we calculate this calculation through calcium the resultant is zero point zero 
zero. Okay, let me verify. Right, uh, five three four one six. That is the relative error. It can be also written as uh, one two. Now shift this decimal point one two three four five six. It can be written as five point three four one six into ten raised to minus six. Now the last, sorry, second last percentage error. Percentage error. It is denoted by e suffix p and percentage error is obtained by just multiplied 100 to the relative error that is uh, delta of x that is error divided by x into 100 is equal to is equal to c the delta x upon x we have calculated 5.3416 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 100 okay this is what relative error into 100 so we get here we get the percentage error so here 2 and this is minus 6 minus 6 and this 2 that is minus 4 it can be written as 5.3416 into 10 raised to minus 4 okay this is the percentage error now the fourth one last absolute error absolute error is denoted by mod okay that is mod of the mod of error that is mod of 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 5 that is as it is if suppose if this calculation is negative if the difference is negative then absolute error it become positive okay suppose this calculation is suppose uh, minus minus okay error is minus then absolute error is positive it can be written as so this is already positive so absolute error is 1.452 into 10 raised to minus 5. If the error is positive, then absolute error and error both are the same. If error is negative, difference is negative, then absolute error is positive. Okay. Now the next question on the fourth point, uh, sorry, on the fourth point, if the number x is rounded to n decimal places. Okay. Now the question is, if, if x is equal to x is equal to 0 0.64, okay, and is correct to correct to two decimal two decimal places then find find relative error and percentage error okay now the given is x is equal to 0 0.64 okay now we have the formula the formula is del x is equal to 1 by 2 10 raised to minus n n means n decimal places the here n is 2 okay now the simplification is through can see uh, 0 0.005 okay that is the difference that is error is 0 0.005 okay now the question is relative error 
the relative error required the two things the difference that is error and with respect to true value that is relative error Sorry, relative error is equal to del of x divided by x So error we have calculated 0.005 and the true value is 0.64. So we get 0.0078. Now the percentage error. Percentage error is denoted by e sub x p and just multiply to the hundred to the relative error. That is del x divided by x into hundred. Okay, that is zero point zero zero seven eight into hundred. Okay, so here shift this two point. Okay, that is zero point seven eight is a percentage here. Okay, so thank you.